In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can add the products into your existing WooCommerce website. If you want to make a new e-commerce website, please look at the tutorial here, which will explain you how you can start the website, how you can register a domain, how you can host a website, how you can set up a WordPress, adding the plugins, uh, and then designing a complete website like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can add the products into your existing WooCommerce website. So we will do this step by step by adding the products, by adding product attributes, by adding the categories, and then uploading the products to the website, publishing it, and then making it ready for the customers to view and to place the order. Then we will place a demo order. After placing the demo order, we will see how we can fulfill the order and add notes to the customers so that customer can always see that what is the progress of the order. So let us go and start the tutorial now. Okay, let me take you through the website and how we can add the products to our website. Uh, this is the website, a demo website, which is available with me. So we'll click on shop now from the Facebook page and it will take me to the website here. So they have added the four categories of uh, main products, which is women collection, girls collection, men collection and boys collection. But if you click on any of the section here, you will see that it says that the page is not found because the category is not available here. And at the same time, if you click on shop, uh, which is a shop page, it doesn't display any products here. So which means that there is no products available right now and there are no categories defined. So what we'll do here, we'll first log in to the website uh, control panel, which is a WordPress admin panel. We'll put our user ID and password and log into the website. Now, as you can see, this is the main dashboard of the website, which shows me uh, that how many orders has been placed. And this is a WooCommerce status page. Now to, to see what kind of products are added here, if, we, if I click on products or if I click on WooCommerce, I can see. So these are the settings available in WooCommerce, which I can see here that there is no orders placed right now because there are no products defined right now. So I'll just go to products and click on all products. So it shows me all the products available right now here. I can simply dismiss this uh, particular notice. Okay, now you can see it is a clean screen here, which shows me there are there is no product available. So you have two options here. Either you can import the product if you have a CSV file or you can create a product. So this is a simple shop website, uh, which means that you already have the products available with you and you want to add these products. But before adding the products, uh, let me see what kind of products we have. So if we see here are the products, uh, one is the this particular brand having the unstitched products and the description of product is here, which can show me that I have a, a simple product collection here and it shows me that these products are having these many items inside one product and as you can see there are multiple designs of a single product so this is a single product here and the product has got multiple designs now if i go back to another kind of product which is a stitched product now i can see these are three different products three different designs as you can see, the description is also available here and it has three different sizes. Now, if you see what options I have available here in the products, if I add the new product, it shows me in the product section here. So this is my page setting, so I'm not concerned about this right now. And I'll show you how we can add these two options, but let us see what is the product data available with me. So first of all, I have these four options for the products. First option is simple product. Simple product mean that if you have any uh, digital product available, either it is a download, downloadable file or any virtual product available with you, uh, a game or any kind of software which you are selling, 
So you can use simple product selection for that. Another option is group product, which we'll be talking about later. Third option is external or affiliate product. External product means that if you are selling any affiliate program product, like for example, Amazon affiliate program or AliExpress affiliate program. So you can put the product URL over here or then instead of a customer buying your product, they can directly uh, be redirected to Amazon or uh, any other website where uh, customers can buy. And I'm not going to cover here uh, the affiliate program in this particular tutorial. You can see another tutorial where I have already explained detailed in detail how we can create a drop shipping website or how we can create an affiliate program. And the best thing is that not to add the um, uh, affiliate link here. There is another way of doing it because if we add the affiliate program here, what is going to happen that if you are adding a price uh, option over here, for example, 9.99 which is already available and let me take you to amazon website and i'll show you how so let me add uh, this is this particular product so i'll just simply add this product over here into copy this link and paste it over here and then you can add the regular price here which is suppose 5000 rupees which is again uh, for me it's 12 dollars so let me add 1500 rupees as uh, pakistani rupees convert it to pakistani rupees i update it and then i'll just open this in a new tab as a product now if you can see here the product has been added here and it shows me buy product the moment i click on buy product it will directly take me to the Amazon website and then I can add the buy the product here. But this is not always the good choice. The reason is because if by chance, if anything changes here, any price is going to change here, you will not get any information. You will not get any notification here. So you are at risk in fact. Uh, in fact, of course, the customer is going to buy directly from here. Uh, you will not be having any problem, but it is not good to add the products in this way in affiliate program there is another way of doing it which i will show you which i have already made a video a detailed video on that so that you can see now let me take you to another option which is variable product this is what we are going to use for this particular demo so we are going to use uh, for this particular website we are going to use this option variable product but before going to variable product because in variable products you are going to have the attributes of the product and the variations so before going to add any product here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to the options of the categories first of all we are going to create the categories here so if i go here to the website you can see uh, this particular website if you see down here at this uh, the status bar I can see uh, the women category is there, girls category is there, men category is there, and uh, boys category. This this is uh, wrongly linked here. Anyway, so we will create this. Uh, first of all, first category, which is women category. So I will add this. Uh, leave this slug blank. It is a URL uh, for the category, which will be automatically created here. So you can add the description here if you want. Otherwise, you can click on add new. The first category is added here which is women so i can add the categories here so these are the four categories which are already added here and if you see here now uh, when i click here it will take me to the category women which is not having any products and at the same time if i see here these the cat the categories are already available here also so what i'm going to do here i'll go back to the product section here Okay, what, what I'll do now, I'll just uh, simply delete this product here. I'll move this to trash because we don't have any product here. This is just, uh, this was just a product, a demo product here, which we created. So we'll get rid of this. Now we'll go to attribute section. And as you can see, there is no attributes defined now here. And we'll first of all, we'll see what kind of attributes we should define here. If we, if I click here, so my first attribute is going to be size so size will be my attribute here 
so first of all i will just go to the product section here and inside product section attributes and i will create a first attribute which is size so and what will be the behavior of this behavior of button here so we will create uh, the option here we will choose either color image or button so button i'll create uh, as an option now it shows the custom ordering so ordering can be by uh, term id or name in numeric or name in in general so you can simply choose a custom ordering or you can simply choose here term id which i'll explain you what it, it is all about so first uh, attribute is added here now what will be the options inside this attribute it is called the terms so we will configure terms here now okay inside terms we have to add three sizes here first is s so we will say as small uh, description is optional you can add it or you can leave it blank uh, second is m these are the three items against this particular uh, attribute which has been added here so if you see size is added here now we'll go back to another option here and if we see the products of course every product has a one color option available here so we can either add the colors as an optional category here or we can leave it blank uh, so let us see blue black and red these are three colors so let us add the colors also because we are configuring the attributes so we can attribute the uh, configure the attributes at once so i'll add the color here leave everything blank and here i will choose the color so the type of this particular attribute is color so i'm adding here so leave this as uh, default option so add attribute now you can see color attribute is added here now we will add the options of color inside this by clicking on configure terms so first of all i'll add black leave the slug default and choose the color here black options for colors are available here so in woocommerce language options are called terms and the uh, attributes here are color and size now what we can see here there is another option inside products if i go here this particular product so product is one only here but there are various designs inside this product uh, sizes are not a problem because these are the unstitched garments so in this particular garments uh, only the difference is in in design and there is no name for design also so we can define our own design but what we can do we can add the pictures against each and every design where the customer can choose design by its color now you have two options here either you can uh, you can add this particular product and then you can duplicate the products uh, product page and you can change the image for each and every individual product so if you see in this case we have 16 products here and these 16 products one by one you have to either create the individual products by adding uh, you know a design one design two against each and every uh, product name or you can add all these products as a attribute so it's better we add this as an attribute so i will add an attribute as design and this will be image and add attribute so now i have added these attributes here design so what i will do here i will now configure the terms here and in in terms we are going to make a random choice here suppose we can give the names like a uh, design will be a and here we'll upload the image for this particular design and the image is going to be a here and we can simply add the description of this product as
simply add the description of product which will be so we'll add for all these items we will add description here add new design so one by one we are going to add all these options here as we have seen in design we have three designs available in size we have five design three designs available now what we are going to do here we are going to add the products so we will click on add new product first of all we will add these stitched products here so we have three stitched products so these are normal simple products of course not simple products in terms of uh, woocommerce product because this is not a digital product so what we are going to do here we are first going to add, open this avf25 so this is the product code avf25 which we are going to use inside the attributes first of all we are going to uh, give the name of this product i will simply copy complete uh, product information here and add it here now what is this product this is this is shirt so this is only shirt which they are selling which mentions that it's one piece only and i will leave the description like this here now sizes there are three sizes price is 3040 for all the sizes fabric is this one uh, so we can it is mentioned here embroid velvet and a fabric i can choose uh, i can add this as a product tag by simply copying this so if you see there are two different tags we can make it make from here one is the embroidered and another is velvet and another category which we can add here which is not already added is stitched because this particular product is stitched so we can add as stitched and another category we can add is unstitched so the product here if we see and this is for women and the product is stitched and these are the two different tags that we have added for this product uh, we will now add the from simple product we will choose the variable product here and sku for this product can be this this is an optional but if it is available it is good to add here but if you don't add it won't make any difference then we have added this product code so we can simply delete this from here and this is a description which will be visible so we can mention here uh, this particular description like this so this is a description of product which will be available in the product page okay now i'll click on manage stock so we have got 100 pieces for this particular product here which is available with us and then we will go to variations but before going to variations we have to first add the attributes so what kind of attributes this product has this product has got only one attribute which is size so i will add this attribute here it will show me the attributes here now it sometimes what it happens that you have only two sizes available you have only three sizes available or you have only one size available for this particular product we have three sizes available so i'll add all the sizes here so i can either do select or i can choose from the list which we have added previously l m and s simply i'll choose select all and because we are using this for variations also so we will click on use for variations so save the attributes here now we will go to variations here where we can choose the variations so i'll create variation from all the attributes 
these attributes which have, we have already added we have added only the size as an attribute if you can see here so only size is added as an attribute we can even choose the color also uh, as an attribute because we have got uh, one color in each so we will leave it for the time being as it is so we'll go to variations here so i'll choose all these variations from here it shows me that are you sure you want to add the variations okay we will add the variations here now three variations it says that has been added okay now three variations are there now we will set up these variations here how we are going to set up here we can choose the color of this variation also that the moment we click on the variation it shows the color of that so which we are not going to do here so only the variation will be in the prices now so i can add 340 for this 3040 so you can see 3040 is the fabric price so i will simply remove it and i'll simply remove it also because we have already added that into the attributes so this has got 3040 for everything so and it shows that how you want to manage the shipping class so leave this information as it is for medium also we are going to add the variation price 3040 and then for small also by clicking here you can add the variation price 3040 so for everything prices is same but only the difference will be the color because uh, you will be the size because you need to know what size customer has chosen when he has placed the order so now we are going to of course we have added the product here but now we want to add the product picture so we'll go here we'll upload the image the image is inside this one avf25 which we added just now this was the product and it's better for the seo purpose we add the description or the the title of product which we added previously here so what was the title of the product it was embroidered velvet suit so embroidered velvet shirt was the name of product so we have added here title and the best practice is that you add it in this way now if you have the gallery also for this particular product if you have multiple images that you can add here otherwise you can leave it blank and simply we will publish this product now because we have added all the information here uh, variations we have added here and then the attributes has been added here and then link product don't worry about that shipping if it is default shipping for this particular product you can use it because in some of the cases depending upon the weight size length and height you might change the shipping classes so which will be which is already explained in the woocommerce detailed uh, video which you can go through and look into that but i'm not going to explain that i'm just going to explain how we are going to add this product now all right now inventory is already mentioned here as, as i mentioned simply go to publish product and the moment product is published so link of product will be this so i can simply go here to view product and the product is now available here now as you can see customer has three options to choose large medium or small without choosing any option he cannot place the order because we have to choose the option so we will choose the option here add to cart and the product will be available so we have added one product right now so we will add one by one three products here which are in this particular product category
So these are the three products here. Now we are going to add fourth product, which is multiple designs. So the product is okay. We can uh, we can add uh, the brand name also here. If you see, this is Bin Said. So this was the brand which we can add as a tag maybe we can add this as a tag if you go to products so i can add tag here for these products Okay, now we will add another product. So I'll click on add new because this is another kind of product. And I will simply add the product description here. Simply copy this first here. And this is unstitched. And women collection now this is how we add the categories here assign the categories here and these are the we will leave these descriptions here and this is classic cotton so we will add classic cotton as a tag here and lawn as a tag here so we can add lawn also because there is no spelling defined here so we can add these two here uh, loan or lawn so it depends how the customer is looking searching the product and dyed and printed uh, trousers so we can leave it leave this as blank uh, and here we can maybe add at the end of this So we'll remove this from here. We have already added this. These are the, this is the description of item. So we can keep it here also and we can add in the description, product description also. Now only the thing is price, which is 1099. So we will leave the price right now, 1099 here because we are going to add the attributes here so first of all this is not a simple product this is a variable product once we add the variable product everything is going to remain same but only the thing is first we will add the sku if sku is not there you don't need to worry you can leave this blank or you can simply add anything over here z-0001 suppose this is any code you can create men stock again this has got 100 pieces available now we'll go to attributes and in attributes as we mentioned this product doesn't have any size this is unstitched so size is not a problem here we have only the option which is available is design so we will choose design here and we'll add the design as an attribute here so we have added only three design previously as you can see a b and c we will choose all the designs here variation that we, we want to use these attributes as a variation of the product because when customer will buy this product we want to know which kind of design he has chosen and which kind of design we have to ship so we will choose create variation from all the attributes so it is showing that we, we will add the attributes from here so it will add three attributes here three variations here for this particular attribute so a b and c three attributes are here three variations are here we will upload the image as you have seen earlier we added a b and c so this is a so we will simply assign this here because previously you have uploaded the uh, we have uploaded the pictures here so this is b so we'll choose this so this is b this is a this is b and uh, because previously b was added so it gave it name b1 so we will choose the c you can see that the attribute of uh, design is available now 
and the design has got three different variations so we'll save the changes here the price for this if we go here the variation has got the price so price is 1099 so we are going to remove this from here because if we simply publish this product let me show you what happens if i publish this product and without without the price what is happening here that the price the product is available but it doesn't show me the it is out of stock it shows that it is out of stock because i did not define any pricing here so i'll do i'll go back to the variations and then choose price here so all the designs have same prices so i will choose for this particular design b same price and and third design is c for this also i will choose the same price here and save changes now what is missing here is the product and product gallery so i will choose the product here uh, any any of the image which is better here so avf 25 no, that was avf 25 so i will choose this b as a first product and then i'll choose a b and c as a product gallery so this is so these three items as a product gallery now you will see the benefit of adding the product gallery with the same same photo or same uh, name i'll update this product i'll go back to the to this product here and refresh the page here now you'll see and uh, the price is also available but price will be will change if the change is in the variation and these are the galleries available so we which which uh, we can change from here and if i click on the design so it will take me to that particular design so i can see the design from here also because we added in design we added these thumbnails and then if i click here so it will show me that specific product now we have added this if i click here add to cart so the product is added to the cart here if i go and view the cart so you can see this particular design is added to the cart and if i go back again from by clicking here i can go back again to the cart and the design which was chosen was c earlier so i will choose b and add to cart if i view cart now i have two products here with the same name but different design so you can see the design of picture is there also and design by name is also there so i can simply click here and place the order proceed to the checkout so let us wrap up here now if i want to add another design d here now i want to add another design d here so before adding the design i'll definitely go to attributes and in attributes i already have the designs available for this and go to configure the terms i'll add another term which is d and i'll upload picture for d here select and i'll go here and add d and similarly i'll add this as an and then i'll again add e as well so that we try to add maximum products possible here so E design is here okay now as we can see a b c and d these are the designs available here so we can uh, see that already there are available number of products in these designs. so we will go to now products and we'll see how we can add these two design in existing product so this was the product and inside this product we can add these two additional designs now so what we'll go here we'll go to variations now 
we had those variations here earlier so we'll add variation here of course first of all we need to we need to go to attributes and this was the attribute uh, design and we'll see here d and e is available here save changes so these two designs are now added to the variation so we'll go to variations and we'll add d and we'll add another variation which is e so we can we can then go to these two variations here and add the image accordingly so this was d now you can see a b c d and e are added but because we did not provide any price for d and e that's the reason those two are not available right now so we'll simply go back to variations and then choose d and e prices and here is price for this save changes now if you see here i'm updating this and this will be available now once i refresh the page okay you can see here accordingly the picture of uh, the product is also changing if i choose the design from here so you can add different multiple attributes here for example if this particular has got uh, the sizes also so you can choose the sizes you can see the description also here and then description is also available here because we have added the product description here and product detail is here all right so we have finished how we can add the products now the products are already added i will just wrap up it that first of all you need to define the categories it is one time job only so first uh, we have added all the categories then we have defined the tags if you can have predefined tags otherwise you can define the tags at the time of adding the products then the most important uh, option here is attributes so you have to define the attributes here and then accordingly you will configure the options inside that attribute which is called the terms so you will configure terms here and once this all is configured then you will go and add the new product inside adding the product you will see the options available you have to add the description of it you have to add the product name uh, and then from here you will choose the variable product and then in you will assign any code if it is available you will add the attributes from the from the list which you have already added in the attributes earlier and then you will add it for example color you will add it here and select all so these colors are available here and then accordingly you will go to once you save it you will go to variations and do it in the same way so this is how we added the products so you can rewind back and check it again if you want to see the products now here is the product list which is available with me right now and i can see uh, the status of the products in terms of stock it's sku and the description and i can change the options here i can quickly edit them and i can edit this in detail so these are the four products which are available right now and these are already published and available to our clients also okay now once you have added these products to your website what you can do here you can share these products to your customers also or your on your facebook page or your twitter page either you can directly share this here and choose your choose your page from here copy the url from here you can simply boost this post from here if you want
now I will see how we can place an order and how we can fulfill this order. So I'll simply open this website in cognitive mode so that it will be without any user information. So this is the website. So this will look like this with the customer or a visitor. Click on shop. So I want to place an order for this particular item suppose. I'll place an order for this. I'll choose the size and the quantity I can add from here. Add to cart. The product is added to the cart. I can choose another options also. You can see that this has been added to cart. So I can go into view. Proceed to checkout. This is how the customer is going to place the orders. Okay, now if you see here, the order has been placed. And if you see here, uh, there is an order number, this one placed and shipping address is this. Okay, now we'll go back to the website here and we will click on the dashboard. If I see on the dashboard, it shows me that there is one order which is placed. So dashboard is here also, or you can go to simply WooCommerce and inside WooCommerce also, you can see this order. So now I can go, go to this order, open this order here and it will show me all the details of this order. So payment to be made upon delivery. It is mentioned here because we are using cash on delivery option here. A customer number and customer email address is here. What customer has chosen? It shows me that this particular product and the size is large and shows me photo also. If uh, you want to send any note to the customer, so you can add the note. For example, we will ship this soon and it can be either a private note or you can note it to the customer and private note. For example, if you are having multiple people here who are managing your uh, business so you can add a private note to them that please arrange delivery as app and this will be a private note so which will be visible inside the product here and now what we can do here the moment order has been shipped so we can keep it on completed refund or cancelled or whatever for example this is completed now so i will choose completed customer is guest customer can register him as a permanent user also so then you will see this as a regular customer. So it has been added here. Now if you see here orders, the order is completed right now. Right. This is how the order will look like. Now once the order has been added, so you can have the order action is email invoice, resend new order notification or regenerate download permission. So I can create the invoice here and update. So invoice will be sent to the customer. This is what customer is going to receive by email. So the email has come from my WordPress, so which you can change it also. I'll simply show you here. Of course, it is available in my detailed video, which where I have explained how you can do the setup here. But we will simply go here to the settings, comma settings, and here is email and in email you can mention here so leave the options here so base color we are going to change this base color so our base color for the logo is this one so we'll choose the base color here I will simply choose the base color here. The color is copied already. So I will simply paste it here. So this will be my base color. Thank you for watching my video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this video.